In this video, I wanted to show you the world record for the fastest ever quarter mile recorded on video. Of course, many will argue the outright fastest ET on the quarter mile is 3.58 seconds set by Sammy Miller in 1984 at Santa Pod Raceway in the UK. However, I'd like to show you footage of a recorded quarter mile of 3.22 seconds at 402 miles per hour by the same man, but this time at Zandvoort over in the Netherlands. Before we take a look at the footage of that 28,000 horsepower rocket car eat up a quarter mile in 3.2 seconds though, I'd like to give you a brief history lesson of the man who did it. Sammy Miller, nicknamed Slammin' Sammy, was a dragster and funny car builder in the 70s and 80s. He raced fuel cars until 1974 when he made the switch to rocket-propelled dragsters. On his second ever pass in testing with a rocket car, he hit 348 miles per hour, which officials refused to announce. This was because at the time, the NHRA, due to previous fatalities from rocket cars, had set strict elapsed time and speed limits, which drivers would routinely ignore. Hey, it was the 70s, baby. So track announcers would announce the allowed times and speeds to comply with the rules, not the actual time the car had just set. After many test runs with his first car, he built the infamous Vanishing Point, which was debuted in the UK in 1978, setting a time of 4.4 seconds at 290 miles per hour. Other great stats for this engineering masterpiece are that it recorded the first three-second pass in history in 1979 in Florida with a 3.94, and the first 300 miles per hour run in Europe was at Santa Pod in July 1979 with a speed of 307.6 miles per hour. Later that year, Sammy flipped the car in the dark at the Santa Pod Flame and Thunder event at 234 miles per hour. The car was rebuilt and in 1984 recorded the run I mentioned earlier of 3.58 seconds again at Santa Pod Raceway. Reportedly, Sammy's biggest concern on each run was whether he could get the car stopped in time. His last on-track appearance was at the Speed Freaks Ball at Santa Pod in May 2002. On the Saturday, he had completed a low five-second pass, which he was then forced to put the car in the field after failing to stop. Being the dedicated showman he was, he worked overnight to get the car ready to run the next day. Later that year, Sammy was tragically killed in an incident unrelated to drag racing on the 29th of October while working in the oil fields in Texas. From the research I conducted about Sammy Miller, he was massively popular with fans, a true gentleman, and an all-round nice guy. With stories including him running a rocket car on the street, waving at NHRA officials at 300 miles per hour, and having a very accurate Donald Duck impression. Without further ado then, let's watch the not so well known run of 3.22 seconds at 402 miles per hour. Going into 2021, I have great content planned for the Crazy Speed channel and I'm currently in talks with a company who specialise in converting fuel cars into EV. My plan being to swap Tesla Model S P100D running gear into a Mini Cooper and using it as a dedicated drag car. This is something I plan on then taking to Santa Pod myself and offering passenger rides to Crazy Speed YouTube subscribers. That's going to do it for this video then, so until next time my friends, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.